In this episode, I want to explore the book The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. Khalil Gibran was a Lebanese-American writer, poet, artist, philosopher, even though apparently he rejected that title. To me, he's another mystic speaking about the unspeakable. And his mysticism, his, his point of view, his peace was inspired actually by many different religions. He was brought up Christian, then was inspired by Islam, Sufism, Theosophy, and the Baha'i religion. I just learned what two of those are. <laughs> but this speaks to this overarching theme amongst these sort of writers that not one idea is specifically the one and only truth. There seems to be a through line with all of these religions and ideas. And to me, that's heartening. And luckily for us, Khalil Gibran shared these ideas through multiple books, his most famous being The Prophet. And we're coming up on the 100th anniversary of it. It was published originally in 1923 and has sold around 100 million copies. This book is about a fictional, mystical character named Al-Mustafa who is leaving the city of Orphalese where he has lived for the last 12 years. And as he is leaving, the villagers, the people who love him, stop him and ask him different questions about life and the human condition. Before he leaves on this fictional boat, and whether that boat is a metaphor for death or a death of sorts, I don't know. But before he leaves, he drops these wisdom bombs all over the place on everything from love to marriage to work. It's great. And they're also paired with his drawings of humans entangled in these beautiful positions that make the writing all the more expansive and expressive. Really, he's another mystic speaking in riddles, but these are beautiful. As soon as I was able to look up the definitions and find out what some of the words meant. <laughs> Thanks, dictionary function on Kindle.